नमस्ते एवरीवन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद द सीरीज दैट आई एम डूइंग ऑन मैरिज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सेवंथ लॉर्ड सो इन माय कोर्सेज आई ऑलवेज टीच द डिफरेंशिएशन बिटवीन हाउस हाउस लॉर्ड एंड सिग्निफिकेटर व्हिच आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इन मेनी वीडियोस एज वेल नॉट गोइंग इनटू दैट आई एम जस्ट क्विकली कमिंग टू व्हाट द सेवंथ हाउस लॉर्ड इंडिकेट्स प्राइमरीली स्पीकिंग wife or husband the spouse as a person should be seen through the seventh house now point number 1 the look of the spouse you say complexion you have to see the rashi where the seventh lord is situated in aries indicates red color that is white complexion taurus indicate white color that is white complexion Gemini indicates green color that is a black complexion Cancer indicates pink color that is a white complexion Leo indicates of white that is somehow wheat is complexion brownish a bit Virgo indicates very jaded so that is darkish complexion Libra indicates black so that is a blackish complexion Scorpio Sagittarius indicate yellow that is a whitish complexion Capricorn indicates blue Aquarius indicates brown that is also blackish complexion dark complexion and pisces indicates white again transparent so that is a white complexion depending on the rashi where the seventh lord is situated in you can see the complexion of the spouse now additionally aries taurus pisces aquarius are short signs gemini cancer capricorn sagittarius are medium signs whereas leo virgo libra scorpio are long signs so depending on the rashi where the seventh lord is situated in you can also decide the height etc of the spouse then additionally you know third house indicates the hands so depending on the rashi the third lord is situated in third lord from where third lord from the position of seventh house lord so you say you are a libra ascendant your seventh lord is mars this mars is situated in sagittarius so third from sagittarius that is aquarius lord of aquarius is saturn so saturn placed in which rashi that will indicate the length of the hands of the spouse in the same manner all body parts can be seen even someone requested for you know the private body parts etc also so that can also be seen through the 7th house and 8th house respectively for male and females other than that broad shoulder you know big face etc can be seen in the same manner shoulder is indicated by third house and so on and so forth so height of length of different body parts should also be seen in this way taking the rashi where seventh lord is situated in as ascendant in addition to this the planet aspected by jupiter the planet aspected by mercury the planet aspected by the lord of the rashi where the planet is situated in plus the planet which is powerful indicate beautiful body parts so you say if the third lord in this example that i was doing if saturn is in own rashi saturn is aspected by jupiter saturn is aspected by mercury or saturn is aspected by his rashi lord it will indicate that the hands of the spouse is beautiful right so beautiful texture of the skin and all of that acts like that it will indicate that on the other hand planets which are weak in this body part matter planets which are weak planets which are influenced by malefics such as mars saturn rahu etc indicate a weaker body part that will indicate you the diseased body part of the spouse also ugly body part of the spouse also other than this the rashi where the seventh lord is situated in that rashi also indicates the trait of the spouse so seventh lord in aries it is a hard working active spouse if it is in taurus it is a stable spouse who takes a lot of responsibility who is burdened by the responsibility of the family if the seventh lord goes into a gemini rashi it is a very fun loving spouse who is very jocular and who have a strong good friend circle i am telling you the rashi signification in nutshell only 
there are many other significations so see gemini is the rashi of mercury mercury indicates reading writing so spouse will be in reading writing etc etc so other significations of the rashi should also be taken into consideration seventh lord in cancer cancer is the rashi of moon indicates a very female like caring spouse seventh lord in leo it indicates very authoritative very dominating spouse it indicates a spouse who will you know try to tease you who will try to punish you you know a very strict spouse seventh lord in virgo once again will indicate a spouse whose life is troubled right because uh, say virgo indicates trouble it will because it is the sign of mercury once again it will indicate mercury in traits as well because it indicates a muddy ground it will also indicate a struggle in life as well libra will indicate a spouse into business a spouse who is having balanced traits balanced balanced look towards life someone who is a humanitarian someone having a humanitarian approach right libra will indicate a spouse who is dedicated to worship etc scorpio scorpio will indicate a spouse who is secretive sagittarius will indicate a spouse who is very focused shorted in their ideas learned capricorn will indicate a hard working spouse who is troubled in life aquarius will indicate a spouse who is having less access to resources someone who who is deprived who have the you know who have the ability of not enjoying things but even after having the plenty just trying to use only a little bit of resources leaving other resources to be used at some other point of time and pisces will indicate a fun loving travel loving spouse you know a spouse who is into spirituality etc etc taking the signification of the rashi the traits etc of the spouse can also be known now every rashi have few letters i have written an article on my website regarding rahu ketu transit 2022 maybe if i am not wrong so there is a recent article on rahu ketu where i have written which rashi have which letters so check the rashi of the seventh lord where seventh lord is situated in the that rashi rashi is 5 9 to that rashi rashi in seventh to that rashi the name of the spouse will come in these rashis this should be checked in rashi also this should be checked in navamsha also right so finding the name of the spouse takes few other techniques as well but this will guide you this will guide you on how the rashi is pronounced even the planet who is exalted in that rashi the planet who is debilitated in that rashi in the rashi where the seventh lord is situated in the name of the spouse generally also comes from those rashis owned by the planets who become exalted or debilitated in the rashi where the seventh lord is situated in other than that if you want to know about the family of the spouse it is dependent on the rashi occupied by the lord of the rashi where the seventh lord is situated in so you say if the seventh lord is situated in the rashi of jupiter and jupiter is situated in cancer scorpio or pisces which are brahmanical rashis it indicates that spouse is a brahmin comes from a brahmin background learned background intellectual background or the seventh lord is situated in the rashi of jupiter and jupiter is situated in own rashi so jupiter is a brahmin so spouse is a brahmin comes from a brahmanical background learned background so on and so forth if the rashi lord of the seventh lord is situated in the rashi of sun situated with sun aspected by sun the spouse is coming from a governmental background so people in his family are in government so the family status of the spouse the family background of the spouse is decided by the rashi occupied by the rashi lord of the seventh lord and the traits that are signified by the rashi lord of the seventh lord right to use this technique you will have to know little bit of rashi basics and planetary basics which i have dealt in many of my previous videos as well other than this generally people are worried about from where the spouse will come from for that you have to know the direction sun indicates east venus southeast mars south rahu southwest ketu also you take for southwest saturn west moon northwest mercury north Jupiter northeast you have to check seventh lord is situated in rashi of which planet if the seventh lord is situated in the rashi of jupiter 
स्पाउस विल कम फ्रॉम अ स्टेट कम फ्रॉम एन एरिया विच इज नॉर्थ ईस्ट फ्रॉम योर प्लेस ऑफ रेसिडेंस एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेन यू आर लुकिंग फॉर मैरिड मैरिज सो बेसिकली यू शुड टेक योर बर्थ प्लेस और इफ यू आर लिविंग इन सम एरिया फॉर मोर देन टेन ईयर्स यू शुड टेक दैट एरिया एज द एरिया फ्रॉम वेर यू आर रेकनिंग द प्लेस फ्रॉम वेर यू आर रेकनिंग द डायरेक्शन सो दिस इज अबाउट द डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम वेर द स्पाउस कम्स फ्रॉम नाउ देर इज वन मोर इश्यू सास ससुर मदर इन लॉ फादर इन लॉ ब्रदर इन लॉ एटसेट्रा फॉर दैट वॉट डू यू डू द पोजिशन ऑफ द सेवन लॉर्ड वॉट आई टोल्ड यू इन द स्टार्टिंग सेवंथ हाउस सेवंथ लॉर्ड इज स्पाउस एज अ पर्सन सो सेवंथ लॉर्ड इज स्पाउस सो यू टेक द राशि ऑफ द सेवंथ लॉर्ड एज द मेन हाउस यू वॉन्ट टू सी द सिबलिंग ऑफ द स्पाउस चेक द थर्ड राशि फ्रॉम द राशि ऑक्यूपाइड बाय द सेवंथ लॉर्ड यू वॉन्ट टू सी द मदर इन लॉ चेक द फोर्थ राशि फ्रॉम द राशि ऑक्यूपाइड बाय द सेवंथ लॉर्ड यू वॉन्ट टू सी फादर ऑफ द फादर इन लॉ Check the ninth Rashi from the Rashi occupied by the seventh Lord. Now, what will you do? See, fourth Rashi from the Rashi occupied by the seventh Lord having influence of malefic planets, having influence of six, eight, twelve house lords. Relationship with mother-in-law will be difficult. Relationship with mother-in-law will be challenging. So on and so forth. Analysis can be done for all the different houses. If you want to go deeper with the analysis regarding the nature, character, behavior, etc. of the spouse, then take the Rashi of the seventh lord. That is the prime Rashi. Now check second Rashi there from. That indicates the financial condition. Third Rashi there from. That indicates the courage. So, malefic situated in third Rashi from the seventh lord spouse is courageous. Benefic situated in third Rashi from the Seventh Lord, the spouse is timid. You want to know about the education, intelligence, brain of the spouse? Check the fifth Rashi from the Rashi occupied by the seventh Lord. So on and so forth. Analysis for all the twelve houses should be done, right? In this way, whatever is related to marriage, specifically those things which are related to the spouse, when I am talking of seventh house. it is the marital life you and your spouse create together when it is the seventh lord it is the spouse from where they come their nature their traits their habit their family etc etc so in this way learning about the seventh lord in detail is the master key to marriage prediction in parashari jyotish traditional jyotish right i think this explanation is enough thank you for watching